Contact Investigation. Part 2. First Meeting Etiquette. The patient is not an interruption of our work. The patient is our work. This training will go over the basics of healthcare worker etiquette when interviewing a patient. You may be going into the patient's home, business, or other locale. Perhaps you're going there for contact investigation reasons, DOT, sputum collection, follow-up, or many other reasons. Before you go in, prepare. Know your patient's name. Practice what you will say. What is your purpose? How will you introduce yourself? How will you make sure you are speaking to the correct person? Once you arrive at the door take a deep breath. Focus. Relax. Smile. Remember that this person needs someone who can handle their fears and uncertainties about what is going on with their health. Never go in without being invited. Knock, announce your presence, or ring a doorbell. When someone comes to the door, let them know who you are there to speak with. Be patient, okay? Be prepared and adapt to the situation with kindness. Remember that patients have their own lives. Adjusting to isolation may be difficult for a lot of people. It is possible that they are happy to see another human. It's also possible that they don't realize they should not be in shared air with others for now. It's important to find a place to sit privately and talk. Where can we sit down and talk? I'd rather not go inside. Let's go around the back. I have some places to sit over there. What a beautiful yard. Where would you like me to sit? Thank you for asking. You can sit on that stool. Handle the situation with education and patience. Do not criticize the patient for not being in isolation but rather explain to them how important it is to not allow the disease to spread to others. Just a few more things about the entrance. We've gone over announcing your arrival, being prepared for any situation with patience and kindness, requesting a private area to talk, not judging but rather educating and communicating. Always ask before entering, sitting, or even bringing your private drink in. We need to practice our own proper etiquette and then learn from the patient what they consider to be good etiquette. Above all arrive and enter. With the mentality of being there for the patient and for the community. With a heart of helping. Well, you made it through part 2. First meeting etiquette. Don't forget to take the assessment at the end of this training. The assessment is on a Google Forms document located at the URL listed on the next scene. Goodbye.